Hey, what's going on everybody? How about you? Truck and Rob here coming at you. I'm going to make a uh, flatbed video for you guys. I uh, got a lot of requests, quite a few questions about how to do this particular load. Uh, this is uh, stand-up coils or palletized coils, uh, eye to the sky, however you want to call it. Uh, got five coils. They're uh, all on a pallet. They're already on deck. I got them strapped down. And uh, I'm going to show you how we do it. Uh, I see a lot of bad things. I see guys, uh, now some of these need chains. Uh, these ones are finished coils. They're nice and painted and pretty. And we don't want to be throwing chains over them. Uh, you can if you use uh, corner protection on them. But uh, generally I, I like to throw straps over these. Just depends on the coils. These particular coils are getting straps. So... Uh, see a lot of guys out there that are just throwing one chain over the middle, uh, one strap. Uh, hell, even while I was doing this out here, I had one driver come up to me and say, Hey man, you know you don't need to be doing all that work, right? I'm like, well, dude, this is my load. This is my load, man. I'll, uh, this is how I do it. This is the way I've done it. So, And uh, he just put one strap, just threw one strap over the middle of the coil nothing no no edge protection no nothing and uh threw a bratty ass tarp over it and went on down the road so we're not like that we don't roll like that so let me get out of here and uh let's go show you these coils all right oh all right now i got loaded and already pulled out of the building so i don't need my hard hat on obviously we're out here we're clear but uh, here we go. Here is five coils, stand-up coils on pallets. Like I said, palletized coils, eye to the sky, whatever you guys want to call them. Uh, the total weight is 45,000 and some change, like 45,060. So, and then we got uh, basically four pretty big ones, and then that little guy there in the middle. Um, that little guy in the middle is only uh, 20, 2,700 pounds. So. Let me kind of walk down through here with you of how I've got my straps set up. Um, I do an X strap over all of them, except for the little guy in the middle. He's this is this one's special, but uh, usually you'll have another big one in the middle, and that one would get an X strap also. But I'm gonna climb up there and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. But I'll walk around, walk this side here, kind of see how I've got my straps. It's okay to uh, to overlap your straps like that. That's what you got to do. And uh, so, one thing I will point out is when you put your straps at an angle. Oh, here we go. Here's a good one. Uh, I try to go for a spool. I try to get a spool uh, that has the rounded corners, so it's not going to cut into your strap right here. Now over here on this one uh, it just didn't work out to grab a spool if I would have grabbed this spool it's kind of be at a little bit too much of an angle and I, I generally I try to make everything between the coils make your X here uh, between the coils I don't like going out uh, going too far in or or too far out so if I would have gone to this spool here uh, it would have been starting to get into this this coil and uh, just puts it at a little bit too much of an angle so what I did is uh, Cut a piece of junk strap just some garbage strap. Uh, there's always some laying around there's there's some right there always find some and uh, Just a little piece there Now what I'm doing is Covering up that sharp edge it will cut your strap if you don't do that. I like my straps I like keeping them they're expensive and then uh, here's the single guy. One strap's okay on him. Not a problem. And then moving on down, we got a spool. And then these are joined at a spool also. Got that rounded edge. And then now here on the back, I like putting a back strap on there and a piece of rubber belting so we don't scratch the material. Uh, even though it looks a little scratched or scuffed or whatever, I didn't do that. So I don't want to scratch it anymore. 
So I put a piece of rubber belting on there. And we're going to have a truck roll by here in just a minute, so it might get a little loud. And then here's your front. Same thing. Now this is a really short strap. One that I've I've cut. It's really short. It's a piece of rubber belting there. And uh, all these straps are 25 foot. These are all my no. Uh, these are all my 20 footers. So short straps. All right. I'll climb up here and show you. There we go. I got a rubber. Use this rubber padding here uh, along with an edge protector. And uh, the reason why I like doing that, uh, a lot of people just use the, the plastic edge protection and uh, it'll slide. The coil can still slide in that plastic. So I like using rubber back uh, down under there. Kind of uh, gives it a little bit more friction. So. And then you can see the X, the X pattern there. And just working all the way down the line. All right, all of them. Got rubber and edge protection. All right, just because, the, again, the rubber, uh, it kind of grips a little bit. It, it kind of digs into the coil and gives you some friction. So, that's that. Hopefully, uh, this all makes sense for you and I got my tarps and my padding on deck so that's next all right guys here we go now I had a big plan for this video I was gonna set up the tripod and I put a microphone on me and, and uh, show you how this is done but there was a crap load of truck traffic coming through here we're on a we're on a busy road here it's always cars and stuff going by so it would have been a nightmare and uh, this place is pretty busy so it just isn't the place to do that so I went ahead and tarped it sorry I know you guys probably wanted to see the tarping procedure but uh, this one's pretty basic uh, I didn't do any of my aero tarp uh, stuff where it's at an angle in the front and the back this is more of just a basic tarp job and just start here in the front secure your front uh, strap or your front flap there and uh, just work your way back. I'll kind of zoom out here for you. And just work your way back, you know, side to side. Now I've got blankets up on top, so nothing will come through. Came up just a little bit, just like two inches short in the back. That's okay. It's all right. The actual product is covered. The uh, just the pallet poking out there. That's all right. I'm not going to break out a whole another tarp for two inches. It'd be all right it's all covered as long as the front is good so it doesn't catch a whole lot of air you'll be all right so there you go five eye to the sky uh, palletized coils x strapped rubber pads uh, plastic edge protection front and rear strap to keep from forward and, and backward movement and uh, everything's good and tight so there you go guys again sorry about not being able to show you how to tarp it uh, it's a struggle out here you guys know these shippers and receivers so imagine yourself in this situation having to set up a tripod and all your equipment hook up a microphone to your to your collar and and get everything all set up and and uh, it, it's a struggle so i do the best i can out here and show you what i got when I can so hopefully you guys learned a little bit off of this uh, if this is your first video go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there like it share it leave a comment um, give me some feedback guys on how you guys do it I'm sure some of you guys would do it a little bit different way but uh, this is how I do it so maybe y'all can start making videos and and do it your way right <laughs> no I'm just kidding on that but uh all right, guys, that's about all I got. Be safe out there. And uh, remember to set the example. Uh, wait, no. Hey, that's not right. Man, I'm hot and sweaty. Hey, <laughs> be the professional. Set the example, guys. All right, I'll talk to you.